Hello everybody, my name is Wizardius. Today I'm going to be playing Wolfenstein 3D. Now you're probably asking yourself, well, why don't you just play Wolfenstein 3D? Why are we looking at DOSBox prompt? It's because I wanted to briefly mention uh, some stuff about the version of Wolfenstein I'm playing while I get the game up and going. I'm actually playing on a uh, modified version of the source code, which I found uh, on the Die Hard Wolfer forums. Yes, Die Hard Wolfers. It's... Um, well, it's a community that really likes Wolfenstein 3D. And suffice to say, uh, there was a uh, th forum post many years ago that I was going through, and uh, I found some source code that basically implemented a bunch of, well, I wouldn't say new features, but uh, it improves memory utilization. So I'm playing on that version of the source code, which, eh, it's still the original game. Not much has changed. Um, it just runs better. But you're probably asking, why do you need it to run better if you're just... Whatever, it's Wolfenstein 3D, let's play the game. I love Wolfenstein 3D. It's one of my favorite games of all time, if not my favorite game of all time. Ah, yeah, PC-13. Profound carnage! Wolfenstein, look at that guy, he's gonna get shot in the face, he, he doesn't know what's gonna... Ah, he doesn't know what's coming! Uh, first, um, I guess, thing that you might notice, uh, if you have good powers of observation. There's no read this menu option anymore. Yeah, well apparently that uses up memory, so it was axed. Uh, what do I want to do? I want to change my controls around. That looks good. And uh, this looks good. Alright. I think we can play this game now. New game. We're going to do the first episode, obviously. Uh, it's a good place to start. Escape from Wolfenstein. And of I am Death Incarnate, why would I play on anything else? Get psyched. This is BJ Blaskowitz. You can see him looking around, all curious-like. Uh, you can see the dead guard here, yeah. BJ knifed that guy, stole his gun. Um, Wolfenstein 3D is a pretty basic game. You have guards, you kill them. The main objective is to, I guess, get to the end of the level, get to the elevator and progress. Each episode has 10 levels, with one secret level and one level dedicated to fighting a boss. Uh, the food there restores 10 life. I don't need the food. I didn't take any damage. But I'm gonna need food. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need food later on. This game can get kind of difficult, kind of challenging. But episode 1 keeps things pretty basic. It's a doggy! I kind of feel bad about stabbing the doggy. But it's an evil Nazi German Shepherd, so... I mean, how bad am I supposed to feel, right? Now, <laughs> if you kill guards in a doorway, the door will not close. Interesting fun fact. Dog food restores four life. Another interesting fun fact. Of course, you probably all know this already, because this is a pretty, um... I'd say this is a pretty well-known game. I think most people have played it before. If you haven't played it before... I don't know, go download the source code I mentioned. I'll put a link in the description or something, I don't know. Um, hell, you can even get it on uh, Xbox Live Arcade. Yeah. It's not as good of a version, though. The music's all screwy. He said IE. He said IE too. We also have secret areas. So many secret areas. And a new weapon. It's a machine gun. All right. What's in this room? Some tables, some faces, and some Nazis. Ooh, this room has treasure. The crosses give 100 points, the chalices give 500 points, and we will be seeing a lot of treasure in this game. It's really my favorite part, is finding the treasure, picking it up, getting all those sweet delicious points, which are actually pretty useless. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? My, uh, intruding on your meal or something? You guys having a little Nazi party in here? I guess. Yep, now they're all dead now. Ah, the treasure boxes. A thousand points. A thousand points for a treasure box. Let's push Hitler's face. Yes, let's do that. Because there's another secret area here. Look at all this. Look at all these good items. Quite lovely. All right, that was pretty straightforward. Okay, this gets a little confusing because 
forget how many guards are here. There's, what, one, two, three. I killed three. I want to say there's two more. Should be walking around here. There's one, okay. Let's kill that guy. Yeah, guards can, um, they can walk predetermined routes. Um, and I'm not sure, I'm not sure why, but sometimes the game will bug out and they'll get stuck on each other, or they'll get stuck on walls, and... Well, we might see that soon. Oh, hey, there's a medkit. Medkits restore 25 points of life? Yeah, that's useful. It's over here. More guards, of course. It's Wolfenstein 3D. This is the exit. Oh, but I'm not going to take the exit. Why would I do that? No, I have I have other secrets to find. I have more important things to worry about than that elevator. Like, uh, that elevator. You're probably asking yourself, why, why are there two elevators? Well, it's the secret level. They put the secret level on the first level of the game. That's an interesting design choice. I just picked up a 1-up. Well, yeah, 1-ups are actually pretty useless. Though they do restore 25 points of life and... No, wait, no. They max your life out and give you 25 ammo. <laughs> yes, of course. Ah, did I get everything? I think I got everything. Yes, I did. And I get 30,000 bonus points. All right, and an extra life because I broke a point threshold. Which I'm thinking was 20,000. Um, anyways... I think I'll probably, I don't know, these are going to be fairly short, some of these at least. Because these levels aren't that long or difficult, so I might even start uploading two videos a day. Who knows? Anyways, I'm Wizarduous, thanks for watching, there will be more to come, and I'll um, see you guys later.